for David Chandarek in Jamaica with Mr. Charlie Phillips, one we call Smokey Joe. Charlie, yes. What can I say? Welcome to Jamaica again. Thank and, you very and, much. And I know it's your hometown. Well overdue. It's well overdue. It's well overdue. Yeah. And, uh, Charlie, you just finished an exhibition in London. Yeah, we just finished one at the um, National Portrait National Portrait Gallery. Yeah. And it went on for four months. It was part of the Simon Sharma exhibition, mm -hmm. Faces of Britain. And right. um, I also done a talk. Institutions in England has got to realize that ever since we've been kidna kidnapped, we're part of British culture and history, whether you like it or not, and also part of the arts. But over the years, we have been given a platform, platform but they finally come to their senses, and it's by public demand where people have seen my work all over the world and all over the place. They realize it was done by somebody of somebody of somebody of sold through a white agent yeah mm -hmm. so they finally took me out of the um retirement or took me out of the cold and here i am yeah mm -hmm. now the high commissioner um was very um was very uh um supportive because she's always um encouraged and give some of the arts a small little platform in whatever way but she can't understand how come i haven't been in jamaica or, or come even to not just for myself, I come like the cultural institutions of Jamaica. They still don't embrace their own artists, mm. you know, and um, uh, and the sheer cultural cultural um, interest. Interest, mm. yeah. And this came as a surprise. Yeah? Mm. So now, the reason I came to Jamaica was to um, uh, see if there's any cultural exchanges going within the diaspora. Yeah. yeah. But so far you have been to the National Gallery. Oh yes, and sure enough. Just looking around, just yeah. looking around. So instead of waiting, um, you know, we're trying to get some sponsors maybe to sponsor a small show because yeah. there's um two other main photographers in England, Neil Kenlock and Ahmed Francis, who I think also and James Barner, who also think deserves a proper platform. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's no use you trying to suppress our heart anymore because once one has gone out, people has become curious to find out if there's others, you know, and there's yeah. plenty of work out there that's been suppressed. Well, it's my personal opinion, yeah? Yeah. Um, now, there, now I'm out of retirement, um, there's so much demand, yeah. And why I say there's so much demand? Because the young generation, if, who's got a curious mind, still didn't realize that people like us existed. You know, I've been in it for 50 years now, and... Um, 50, five zero. So five zero, yeah. And um, I've just, it's just in the last eight years, the, the cultural institution in England and Europe, you know, has got to, has just come to terms that we deserve a better platform. And they were so surprised when we had record numbers of people who came out to see our exhibition, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I hope, um, you know, they'll give us a fair and better platform um, that we deserve. Mm -hmm. You have actually travelled extensively with your art, right? And you have, you have documented quite a few, you know. What were some of your most, well, your best memories, I should put it? Well, one of the things is, um, one of the last exhibition I done, it dealt with um, Caribbean funerals. And the reason I, I've been documented it since 1969, from the wake of the 99, yeah? And it just shows you how our culture has been um, has changed over the years. The title of this um, exhibition was called uh, "How Great Thou Art," "How Great Thou Art," and um, it's begun now. We're coming up to the fifth generation. There's lots of our culture that's been diminished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Take for instance "How Great Thou Art." That was the typical song. Or the typical um, um, hymn. hymn of the average Afro-Caribbean funeral, you know? Um, in those days, what there used to be a strict dress code. Now, four generations later, you know, what's become, in some Afro-Caribbean funeral, what's become the theme song would be 
Frank Sinatra, It Must Be My Way, mm -hmm. Simply the Best mm -hmm. by um, Tina Turner, or um, Song for My Father, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. by Ted, who sings Song um, for Lionel you... Richie, yeah, yeah. Uh, and yet the, the tradition is gone when, and when how great thou art, and bless my soul, my Savior Lord unto thee, be. Mm -hmm. how great thou art. art. And this used to be the national anthem, like, for yeah, Afro-Caribbean for funerals. funerals, you know? And this is um, how it's changed. And all the things that's changed as well, there's no more dress code, because some of the modern day funeral is, tells you about, um, some of the modern day funeral tells you about um, 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 alternative dress code, like, mm. you must all come in red or green or you know, white or uh, whatever white, it is. Whatever, yeah. mm. your favorite color, so. And this is one of the things I've documented over the yeah. last time. Um, yeah. This is one of the things I've documented over the last 50 years, yeah? And this is